So when you do open the box, take a look at these later, you're looking at 27 sprues. Um, for the most part, they are beautifully uh, molded and the uh, use of slide mold technology, especially the, the head unit there. It's a nice one piece, uh, but 27 sprues, I mean, astonishing. I, th I think that uh, it's probably for making multiple versions, it's going to help. Like for instance, you get your main gun here. Now I probably would have liked to have the muzzle flash separate so that it could have uh, more detail in there. We're going to have to drill that out, which is no problem. But uh, just some of the things. Here were some more uh, forearm-based weapons. Uh, some more ammo. Your poly caps. Uh, the main body unit. It's going to be, uh, well, it's 35th scale. So can't imagine it being more than 6 inches tall or so. Seems to be nice. The um, sprue gates are a bit in the large side, but you know. No big deal. Uh, the hand manipulator sprue. Uh, now the interior. Uh, the interior looks quite nice. I'm. I was thinking of um, doing the interior, but then I realized there's no pilot. Chirico is not in here, nor any other of the uh, pilots. So, hmm. And not to mention, they don't include uh, a paint guide. Uh, for the interior. So this particular one I just might do buttoned up so it won't be have it won't have any um, the ability to open up and see the cockpit. So I might just assemble as normal but just not paint. Uh, the backpack with the rotary Gatling gun and the hip. Uh, some of the sprues for the foot. Really nice. More uh, leg pieces, another polycap sprue. Uh, it's for the arm, one of the arms. Let's see where the other arm is. Oh, identical sprue here. Um, more head stuff, another um, ammo. Uh, this is for the rocket pack. These are the rocket heads, the warheads. Uh, shoulder, two pieces. Nice that the um, the little rivet there. It's hard to see here, obviously, but uh, they have uh, on the other side. There's a little slot to accommodate it, so might mean minimal sanding. But we'll see how it goes. More foot pieces, uh, shins, and outer leg pieces, um, leg and the bottom of the upper hull. Nice that that would just slide in so you can make uh, painting a separate, which is good. Same sprue as there. And that one, and this one. And what do we get here? Probably some kind of sticker stuck to the... Yeah, that's for the uh, optical unit. I might replace these with um, uh, some of the wave um, eyes. We'll see. See how that goes. All right, that's that. Instruction manual, nice. No color call out whatsoever. Though you have a nice, well, then again, oh, here we go. Paint, sorry. Just nothing for the interior. But it seems very straightforward. Looking forward to it. Again, I'm going to have it all buttoned up, so I'm not going to paint in the interior. Uh, I think the next model I do has the pilot. It's going to be a Berserga. So we'll, um, we'll definitely paint the interior of that guy. But this one, yeah, we're just going to have it like this. Anyhow, that's it. And of course, typical Votoms, Dugram, or all the other ones of this uh, vintage. You have a nice uh, color little booklet. Anyhow, let's get moving.
Okay, so here we are. This is it. It's finished. I'm quite happy with the project. It took a little while. I started this project a year and a half ago or something, but uh, finally have it done. Um, it went together very well. Uh, parts fit is very precise, so uh, you know, be mindful of that if you decide to tackle this kit. Um, you're going to have to remove paint because even a thin, thin layer of paint will affect assembly. Um, you'll see. Um, another thing is the uh, poly caps. The openings are far too small. I drilled them out with, I think it's a 3 16th bit. Uh, and that seemed to do the trick uh, because you'll notice that uh, with a lot of attachment points, anything that's going into a poly cap is just far too big. And, um, you know, just trying to jam it in there, you're going to find that you could break parts and or major, you know, pieces and stuff like that. So just uh, take a look at that and, and uh, drill those out. Uh, other than that, everything went together well. Um, pleased to have this one done. Nice little weathering project. Nothing crazy, but... Uh, you know, it's a good, uh, good little kit, and I look forward to building some more. I've got a few more from uh, the Votoms uh, universe, and uh, the next one I will do will be uh, Berserga, um, one of my favorite characters in the series. So anyhow, um, yeah, I enjoy. Uh, I'm going to um, have some close-up shots and some, you know, just to get it going on the turntable, but I uh, appreciate uh, everything that, uh, you know, that comes out of these things. I really appreciate you uh, checking it out, liking, viewing, all that stuff. So, um, anyways, wait for the next project. Not sure when the next Votoms will be, but definitely it'll be coming up fairly soon. So, and again, uh, thanks for watching.